Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. In this video, I'm going to show how to set up the Nico Queen ring system frame, both the cassette and the grafting frame. Let's get started. Okay, so this is how our, our kit shows up. Um, I obviously ordered mine from Kelly Beekeeping. It comes with uh, the cassette and 10 of the brown sockets, 10 of the yellow sockets, 110 of the little cups, and then 10 queen roller cages. So we can look inside and we can see here that we have our cassette, both of our sockets, the roller cages, and a package of cups. Now the instructions don't come in English. Kelly includes a sheet here that's been translated, but not very well. So it's it's a little bit difficult to uh, to understand. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my uh, cassette put into a frame. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and attach my cassette to my frame. So a few tricks here. First of all, I'll determine where the holes are at there on one side. So I'm going to take this off. Use a little pry tool to help pop it loose. I set it aside. <clears throat> now here, this plug in the back, um, I'm going to pop it out so that it will sit flat and flush. Set it aside. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a old piece of a lumber here and I'm going to set set my frame on that piece of board just to keep it flat. And when I do that, then everything comes up flush. If I don't set this little board under here, uh, the frame will raise up on the sidebars. So I can get it flat like that, and then I'll just go ahead and put my two screws in. The size of screw that work really good for me are number five by three quarter pan head screw. I'll go ahead and get that put together. Okay, so I just used a regular frame, popped the foundation out of it, um, and now I'm ready to go. I'll go ahead and put everything back where it belongs. Queen excluder side goes on the, the cup side here, and the uh, put my cap back in so I don't lose it. All right, now I'm ready to go. As I use this system, the bees will draw a comb out and fill this all in. So after you use this once or twice, this will be solidly filled in with uh, honeycomb. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get my graph frame put together. Now, I don't use the roller cages. Um, a lot of people do, and if you do, you won't be able to do a three-bar system like I use. You'll be able to get maybe one row. So I just don't use them. I can do uh, I can do 30 graphs um, with the way I have this set up here works out real well for me. Okay, so I use a standard top bar that I make. I simply instead of the notch being three eighths of an inch wide, I widen it out to three quarters on both sides. Standard bottom bar. Um, I show how to make these in my other videos. The side piece is eight and a quarter of an inch long. And it's just a piece of three quarter by three quarter. I go ahead and put um, matching dados in the side that are uh, three eighths of an inch wide. And then I cut special, I just take regular bottom boards and I cut them to fit. So these are 16 and three quarters of an inch. Three of those, and then I attach my cups to it. Now I'm, I'm showing you my old one here that I've used a few times because I have wax on the ends so the bars don't fall out. And the wax keeps them in, firmly in place, but easy enough, loose enough that you can get them out easily. So right when you fir first put this together, these are going to want to just kind of fall out. Get a piece of wax comb, uh, rub it on the edge here to make it sticky, and they'll stay in place. All right, next trick I'm going to show you how I attach these cups. Okay, so you can see here that 
I've made some marks of where I space out my pieces. I started an inch and three quarters of an inch in and then every inch and a half after that I put one and that comes out evenly. Okay so I've just been using uh, half inch nails um, to attach these little cups and half inch nail is really little so it's almost impossible to use a hammer. I'll show you what I do. I grab the I grab the nail and then I'll center my cup where I want it here on my mark and I just push it in with my thumb to get it started slightly and then the magic trick is I grab a pair of pliers and I press it in. And I just keep doing that throughout the whole process press those nails in with a pair of pliers and I'm hooked up good. Now 3 8 is not quite wide enough for the half inch nail. You can see here it has a little pokey sticking out the back. So if you're creative and have a little extra lumber you can you can make your own sidebars like in this instance here I I made them half inch wide. That way the nails don't stick out the back and life is good. So as I stated earlier um, this will need a little bit of wax to keep it from falling out while it's brand new. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.